Hello everyone. Welcome to the Geoecologist. So we begin with our first session for the field work and research methodology. So as per the requests of many of my students and many of our viewers, we are coming up with few lectures on field work and research methodology at first. So first of all, we need to understand that field work and research methodology is part of curriculum for majority of the sciences around the world. Okay? So field work is not just restricted to a particular discipline called geography or economy or geology, but it's part of the larger framework of knowledge around the world. So all the forms of knowledge have some part or the other that is directly linked to the human beings and the field. So we should understand that field work as part of research methodology is an interdisciplinary concept. So if it is interdisciplinary, we must understand the basics about the field work. So in the first session of this field work and research methodology, we are going to learn about the basics, the first ideas about the field work. So let's go ahead. So first thing that comes to our mind is inquisitiveness. Inquisitiveness is basically the art of inquiry or to be curious, to be having that idea behind our head of knowing something, of wanting to know basically. So inquisitiveness is the first order of any inquiry. So first of all, we need to be inquisitive. We need to have questions in our mind. We need to have this thought process that we need to learn. We want to learn. We are curious about learning. That's why the first idea of field work comes from the word inquisitiveness. Then it goes further to geographical imaginations. So when we talk about field work in geography or for that matter in majority of social sciences, we talk about spaces, right? And also the imaginations are very important about those spaces. For example, if you're sitting here in New Delhi, and if somebody says any place's name like Mumbai, so we suddenly have some imaginations about that place. And if we further want to learn more about that place, we need to have another thing in our head that is the inquiry. So I have given you three I. First is I for inquisitiveness. Then second I is I for imagination. And the third I is inquiry. So inquisitiveness imagination and inquiry these are the three pillars okay the three pillars for the field work and research methodology what are these inquisitiveness imagination and inquiry and why are these important these are important because inquiry exposes contradictions now we need to understand that it's not fair entire world is not fair it's not black and white there are many contradictions right in the phenomena in the up a daily up basis of understanding of spaces and cultures and people so variety of phenomena is there variety of spaces are there so what happens there is lots of contradictions and inquiry helps these contradictions get exposed right so inquiry exposes contradictions in these geographical imaginations on which the knowledge about these geographical issues phenomena are established okay so the role of inquiry becomes very important that's why from inquisitiveness to imagination to inquiry this is the progression of development of field work okay so we need to understand this three i inquisitiveness imagination and inquiry remember this now now we need to understand what is the role of fieldwork. Why is it important? Fieldwork helps to accomplish the crucial, the most important aim of education. So what is that? What is the most important aim of education? Any guesses? To question. Remember, the most important aim of education is to question. You have to have questions. So rather than to accept without further inquiry or thought, that is largely an outcome of thinking geographically or spatially so where does this question comes from again remember go back wh words in school days we have learned what where how and why these questions so if you want to be educated it means you must have questions 
don't just accept everything that's coming to you that's given we need to have questions in our mind that is the main aim the crucial aim of our education so field work helps to accomplish that crucial aim to question not just to accept without inquiry so we need to have inquiry in order and this is all resultant of something which is very much important that is thinking geographically or spatially in terms of geography in terms of spaces if we think in that term that naturally comes to us the question is the most important part of any field work all right so field work can basically be understood simplistically as systematic observation and collection of otherwise that is not available primary data so what happens when we have this question in our mind and we have inquiry about the geographies the spaces then we need to have a systematic observation and collection of those data about those spaces through our inquiry through our question so field work helps to accomplish that it helps us to understand the spaces systematically all right on the basis of our observation and the collected data so this is the simplistic understanding of education and field work all right this is very interesting diagram if we see we are talk about inquiry so what is the flow here asking questions then we have collecting data that is part of the field work then what we do post field work analyzing the data then communicating it evaluating it decision making applying it to the ground this is the whole flow that we know and the framework is spaces people place and environment and scale so three major pillars of this framework becomes one is the people place environment that is the main context that we study any field work in so whenever we study a field work we need to understand people place and environment and their interlinkages and also the spatial aspect the absolute spatial aspect that is the location the map the positionality and the scale now geography is very much coming here with this three important things space place and scale right so spaces then people place an environment in those spaces and then scale that is if we zooming in we are closing into a particular point with lots of details and if we are zooming out then what we are doing we are covering lots of grounds and we are going on a big okay big scale like from local to global so this is the framework and how does this come from where does this framework come from these two important things the first is thinking geographically and the second is geographical thinking now you must be surprised thinking geographically and geographical thinking both are sounding same isn't it but no I remember the first is the basic instinct of any human being to understand their milieu in a particular geographical sense that doesn't come with the subject right thinking geographically is done by everyone even who is not known to geography who has never studied geography will also think spatially or geographically isn't it even early men who came out of caves thought about agriculture so they thought spatially they thought geographically that where can we do agriculture near river valleys why because it's more fertile land there availability of water so they thought geographically even before thousands of year the subject itself was born isn't it and the other part is geographical thinking it means thinking of geographers of people who are learned who have got the training in geography so the interplay between this two thinking geographically to geographical thinking is this entire framework that we are looking at this diagram so right from the basics of an individual to think spatially we actually go to this application decision making while getting trained by analysis by evaluation right so through geographical thinking so the position first is thinking geographically and it completes the entire circle by geographical thinking so what does geographers do they are trained to think geographically but what does an auto wala do when he takes you to a market place wherever you tell him so he thinks geographically he maps his own spaces but what does geographer do they do the same but in a trained on a trained parameter right 
making maps using google earth using technology so what happens space is commonality but the mode of thinking changes the way of thinking changes so the way of inquisitiveness the inquiry is different when you are from the subject all right that is about the basic understanding of why feel work and how feel work in what ways so we need to understand this that thinking geographically to geographical thinking is all based on these concept of spaces people places environment and scale and that adds up as basic principle for making of the spatial inquiry that is about the field work and the research methodology based on this all right now the frame of framework the basically the framework of geographical inquiry is principally involving these four attributes framework has four attributes inquiry framework first is spatial significance second is the patterns and trends and third is the interrelationships as we talked and fourth is geographic perspective so spatial significance has to be identified before inquiry patterns and trends have to be looked in while inquiry interrelationships between spaces people places environment scale has to be taken care of and geographic perspectives again geographical thinking that is the main point geographic perspective is the perspective of space perspective of space and people the interlinkages how at a particular place a particular thing is located why is it at only that place so these perspectives will matter while in the framework of geographical inquiry so we have four basic attributes spatial pat significance patterns and trends interrelationships and geographic perspectives then next is basic question what is where so we start with basic inquiry what is where why is it there right so what is where why is it there and why do we care so these are the three basic ideas if we understand we'll understand why feel work so what is where why is it there and why do we care and when we integrate this three things with a fourth thing that is people's perception what is where why it is there why do we care and what are the people's perception about all these three above questions then in totality we talk about the making of a field work and its research methodology how we conduct the research so these are the important points to remember when we are talking about the field work in geographic studies or for that matter most of the social science studies all right now So field work in geography specifically can be understood as sensitively engaged study that takes place in a learning milieu learning environment particularly different from that of a classroom this is the basic idea in classroom we study differently study the textbook study the definition study the theories but what do we do in field work we are sensitively engaged right with a particular place in a particular learning milieu and it is different from any classroom study that's the basic idea then if it facilitates the need to integrate what do we integrate first of all the intellectual that is about the mind the thinking the socio cultural that is about society about the practices then about the physical environment then about the basic environmental concepts and then emotional aspects so intellectual socio cultural physical environmental emotional aspect of learning through empiricism through experiment through observation through direct inquiry so what happens field work becomes very important because it has all these attributes right from intellectual attribute to emotional aspect as well so we tend to engage with our field in which we are making inquiry in all these ways in intellectual ways in socio cultural ways in physical ways in environmental ways and also in emotional ways so then if we are doing this then it means that we have understood field work completely and then we are going to sensitively engage ourselves in this field work that is what about the field work in geography can be so the major components of field work include clearing the 
problem that is clearly stating the problem then defining the study area then we have formulating hypothesis then we have identification of the necessary data then we have establishing the classification and resolution that's very important what is the classification the typology and then at what scale are we doing to read the data is it at regional scale or local scale or world scale right and then acquiring that data that is what's important then we have to process the acquired data analyze it through various tools and then resolve the problem which we stated in the first step early and this is not according to me it's basically according to one of the major texts that has been written by Lounsbury and Elrich in 1986 so they stated these eight parameters to understand how to do a field work what will be the major components of a field work so the components of field work is right from clear clearly stating the problem to defining area to formulating a hypothesis to identifying the data first identify what is going to be the data then establish its classification resolution then go actually to acquire the data then process that data analyze the data and then resolve the problem so from stating the problem to resolving the problem on the ground this is the eight major steps as major components of a field work all right so after we have learned the components of field work its basic understanding so we'll be coming up with the other sessions with more details so please like and subscribe to this channel the geoecologist and press the bell icon for the further updates so stay tuned thank you all